the circuit diagram shows the clock circuit for the 8051. This connection can be found in the 8051 data sheet. Let's check out the 8051 data sheet. Let's choose the Atmail C51. Check out the oscillator and clock circuit. The connection is shown with recommendation of the capacitor values. This is the crystal. How do you determine the frequency of the crystal? This information is available from the 8051 data sheet. Let's choose the NXP 80C51. The maximum oscillating frequency for this 8051 is 33 MHz. The clock circuit generates a clock for the 8051. The 8051 requires a clock to operate. 12 clocks make one machine cycle. Let's call one period of the clock T. If the frequency of the crystal is 12 megahertz, the period T can be calculated. How much time is one machine cycle? Try to follow the working shown. What is the significance of knowing all these timings? Supposedly, you want to find out how much time it takes to multiply two numbers. The instruction has three lines of codes as shown. Let's refer to the document called the A051 instruction set. You should be able to find many 8051 instruction set on the web. Let's choose the Atmel 8051 instruction set. Let's examine this instruction add register to accumulator. This instruction takes 12 oscillation periods to execute all the other instructions can be found in this document coming back to our program how much time is needed to execute it let's check from the instruction set the move immediate data to the accumulator takes 12 oscillation periods. The next instruction is move immediate to direct.
This instruction takes 24 oscillation periods. The last instruction is the multiplication instruction. This instruction takes 48 oscillation periods. The total oscillation periods required to multiply two numbers is 84. So, how much time is that? The oscillation frequency is 12 MHz. One period is 1 over frequency. The total time taken is 7 microsecond. These three instructions take a total of 7 microseconds to execute. What if a crystal is changed to 1 with a different frequency? The instructions still require 84 periods to execute. Does the total time change? Let's work out. Frequency is now 24 megahertz. Eighty-four periods will now take. 3.5 microseconds. For 12 megahertz, the instructions will take 7 microseconds. If the frequency is double, the instructions will take half the time to execute. 